let me show you around the outside of the van we're currently calling home during our America and Canada road trip. It's a Swift Contiki 655, some of the basic dimensions. It's 7.5 meters long, it's 2.9 meters tall, and it's 2.3 meters wide. So it's got a 2.8 liter fuel injected diesel engine. Um, the tank capacity, the fuel tank capacity is just over 110 liters, which over here cost me about $72 to fill up from empty which is about half the price of the UK, so I'm very happy. So if you follow me around, I'll just show you some of the features we've got. Um, we've got the filling cap is behind there. So let me show you the first storage compartment we've got on the van. This one here, and this is accessible from the inside as well as outside. It's a pretty big compartment, certainly enough room in there for a couple of um, large baskets with the stuff I need in there and a couple of chairs and bits and bobs. So moving on, past the habitation door, we've got a security bar here, which can be moved and secure the door like that whilst we're traveling or if we're in a place at night that, uh, that we just feel like the extra security is warranted. Moving on here then, so we have the ventilation areas for the freezer, the fridge, and the Truma water heater and hot air blower heater and they are really good. Here we have the external electric hookup point and then here we have the gas bottle compartment. Now currently I've got two gas low refillable LPG bottles, one six kilogram and one 11 kilogram. And I had these fitted before we came out here and basically this just fits from in here I have an adapter that goes into there, which then fits onto the American side. So we've had no problems at the moment. Um, a slight problem with a little bottle of gas, but we're working on that one. But well, that's where the gas is. So here we have the external water, fresh water filling cap. And our fresh water tank is 125 litres, uh, which is great, lasts quite a while. On the back here, we have a bike rack and obviously a ladder to get up to the roof. Now on the roof, I have two solar panels. One's a 110 watt solar panel and the other is a 120 watt solar panel. And both together, they charge up my two 110 amp hour premium batteries, uh, leisure batteries in, in a matter of a couple of hours. And those batteries last well in excess of 24 hours. So I finally come around this side. Here I have the, where I fill up the, the, the toilet flusher in there and that's seven liters and basically that just cleans the toilet and in here we have the Thetford cassette which is where our black waste goes simply just take that out empty it and then pop it back in and it's really really simple now the final compartment that i have on this side is this one here it's not accessible from inside but basically that just holds my ramps for leveling and any bits and bobs that uh, that i've got and that is the outside of the van. So that's the outside of the van. Now let's have a look inside. Hello everyone. So Gary's giving you a good look outside and I'm going to give you a right tour of my little home at the moment. So as you can see, we've got a bed up the top here. Now we don't sleep on this one, but it's a big bed, uh, but I would feel a little claustrophobic in there. Plus I wouldn't really want to be getting up and down in the night for a toilet. But what we do use it for, it's brilliant for storing our bedding. So we pop all of our bedding up here. So we try and put this away in the day because both of us have clonked our head on this bit here. So we give it a bit of a push up, but you'll notice that there is curtains as well. So if you have got guests and they were staying up there, there is some privacy and there's windows either side. So it's really quite nice. You know, if you've got a couple of kids in this particular vehicle, They'd love it up there. Every single time we've had kids in this van, not even our own ones, they've scampered up there and love, we, we can't get them out. You can see where our spare bed is. Let's have a look in the cab now. Here's the front cab. We've got two captain's chairs, the driver's seat here. We've sort of swiveled it around to show you, but it comes all the way round so you can sit in it as well. It's very comfortable. Gary's the only one driving at the moment. I don't bother. Um, 
But there is plenty of room. You know, I've got little pockets I keep hand sanitizer in. And then we've got, um, a, obviously, a dash cam. We've got a sat nav, a phone holder. And then the pockets in the side of the seat are huge, really deep. I keep my water bottle in the side. So let's start off on this side of the van, which is the driver's side. Um, and we've got a little solar controller panel here, um, which is very useful to know how far it's charged. We've got one, two, three really good sized cabinets here. Um, and these lockers really are quite deep. That's a just a little blanket in there to show you how nice and deep back they are. And for instance, it's just got a few bits and pieces, a first aid kit, that sort of thing. Brilliant sizes. And just behind the passenger side, it's exactly the replica in terms of storage. So we've got one, two, three three lockers i mean they really are good sizes i often get things like this it's a little tupperware box and i stuff things in just to keep things nice and still um, but i use this one for sort of sauces and bits and pieces but they're great so this is the seating area at the front right behind the um cab you can see gary's nice and comfy in there but there is a lot of seating um this one actually has the seat belt as well. It's hidden behind the panel, but there is two extra seat belts here. So you can have two passengers on this side. And we bought these fabulous cushions. These We call them cushies, um, which are, are very comfortable and help make it a little bit more softer on your back. But yeah, it's plenty of room and the table is excellent. It folds down and fits in the cupboard in the bathroom the kitchen and I think this is the area that really sold it to me I love this part of the, the van so I've got a great little spice rack first of all which I love and then I've got really good cupboard spaces this was originally a, a microwave cupboard but we don't really use a microwave but it's perfect I use a lot of Tupperware tubs that I stack on top of each other especially for dry goods to move along we've got sort of plates and cups and I've got my tea and my coffee in there and then I've got some spare Tupperware tubs and about six million boxes of tea this curved cupboard area so we have like a bin area here and these drawers pull out these are fantastic for your knives and forks so we've got a good sink area uh, we've got a chopping board on the sink that I tuck away when we're traveling We've also, we pop a bowl in all the time to try and make sure that we're not getting too many gran grains or going down the drain. We've got a draining board and then the kitchen window has a mosquito net. Fantastic. We've got them all throughout the van, thankfully. They do help a little. We've got a little fire extinguisher that we've popped here. The cupboards are great. So this cupboard's nice and big. I put all the pots and pans in here, plus some cleaning equipment and store my kettle in there when it's not, when we're not parked up. I've got a good little cupboard here. This is mainly for cleaning equipment, odds and sods, and my chopping boards. But the oven is fantastic. So we've got a grill. Um, so it's quite small, but you know, it cooks the toast in the morning and bits and pieces. A full oven. And then there's another cupboard under here where I can store a pan. Then on the top, we have three gas rings and one electric ring. It's a great oven, it's been fantastic. So on this side of the van, we've got a couple of cabinets here as well. This is a nice one. It's a drinks cabinet. It's empty because we drank a bit too much last night. So it hasn't really got anything but balsamic vinegar in there anymore. Um, but I use these sort of like can holders to make sure that our glasses don't clank together. They've been really useful. And then we can hang up our glasses here. That's actually a real glass, which was a mistake. So we've already broke one and a plastic one. Um, and then we've got other little cupboards for storage here and a really handy little kitchen roll holder that Gary put on for me. So this is a really lovely little thing that we've got hanging in our van. A friend of ours, Roz, made this cry cut image of the states and gave us some little jewels that we can populate each state that we went in. It's a fabulous thing to do. And we got it hung up on here. We just use sort of like a stickers that you, you stick it onto the van. And we just pop these jewels on. And we've actually covered 10 of them now because we have included when we flew into New York and took a hire car to Baltimore to pick up our hire, to pick up our motorhome that had been shipped over. But it's fantastic. We love it. Thank you, Roz. I was so pleased with this as well because we've got quite a big fridge and freezer, really. So look, you can see how big the fridge is. It's, it's quite full, actually, at the moment because we went shopping yesterday. 
and then we have a little freezer box which hasn't got much in apart from some blueberries and I think some chicken and a bit of bison and then we've got another cupboard here just on top of the fridge which stores our tv and dvds etc we haven't really watched any tv we just I don't know we don't have any time to do anything so this is the bathroom which we love so if you can walk in gary you'll see this is the shower it's got a nice shower head up here it's not bad at all we had to replace that one but it's very roomy and we like it then you've got the toilet just a normal toilet to be honest we've got a sink nice little sink with a cabinet underneath we've got plenty of storage in here because actually this is a wardrobe so the wardrobe's pretty good it houses quite a lot of clothes and then we've got a sort of Tupperware tub box if you will with little drawers that we keep our smalls in and then we have three great big cabinets in here where we can store clothes as well so all in all we're pretty well sorted when it comes to space when you come in from the door we've got a cupboard just as you come in and that houses the heating um, so that's what's there and then all of our sort of elements here an umbrella stand is just here as well um, and then up on top of here we've got one of the suicide bowls and if you haven't been watching any of our videos you might want to check out 40 days and 40 bites to see what that's all about um, but yeah in general this is this is how the van looks um, Gary's nice and comfortable but he's on the chairs that double up for our bed at night don't they so talk us through how long does it take to put the bed up at night gary it's it, literally it's a five minute job um this folds out into the middle or right up to there and this area then folds out um to cover the rest of the space and it's actually um a super king size bed it's great so i hope you enjoyed having a look around our house this is our house full time it isn't is. it Babs? yep yeah, we've sold our house and we don't have anywhere else to live. This is our house, but we're enjoying traveling around the States this year and we'll be doing Canada as well. And if you want to join us on our journey, you can like and subscribe to our videos. Um, subscribe is free. It just means that you're following us. And if you'd like to do that, we'd love to have you on the journey. So we'll see you next time. Love you loads. Be good. Bye.